Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Morrowind. This is Epsilon, and today uh, we're going to be joining a great house. Last time we completed the Vivek mission for Caius, and he basically said, go away for a while, a good long while, get fit, buff up your cover story, and one thought led to another, and that thought was that, I mean, Julin has, not Julin, well, Julin has, but uh, Madril has basically just been shown all of the political intrigue that is happening around Marwyn. So, what better way than to begin inserting yourself into that, to try and fix up the mess that something Madril, well, Madril would want to do. He would want to make things better. He is, at heart, a good person. So, the best way to do that is to join either the temple, and Madril is not a believer in the tribunal, the imperial cult, and although he believes in the Nine Divines, he's not religious enough to turn himself over to an order. The Legion, but that's something Madril might do at a later date. As of now, as far as Madril knows, all the garrisons are full, and he isn't needed anywhere. So that just leaves the Great Houses. Looking over the three gatehouses, uh, well, we can kick out Telvanni immediately. They're racist, isolationist, they sell slaves, they're mages, they're really terrible people from everything that Madril knows and has heard about the Telvanni. On the other hand, we have... Hello. Uh, the Redoran and the Hlalu. Both of them kind of mean something to... Excuse me. Kind of mean something to Mad uh, Madril. They both have qualities. Okay, well, oh my god, I'm trapped between two people. This is the worst place. They both have qualities that Madril uh, would like. Although Madril has seen a bit of the bad side of the Empire, he believes in and of itself the Empire is a good thing, that its stability is important. And... Hlalu's enthusiastic embracing of the Empire speaks to Madril on that level. He thinks they get it, basically. They see, like, the good the Empire can do. So he kind of wants to join them. On the other hand, there are the Redoran, whose martial combat and honor kind of speak to Madril. On the flip side, the Redoran are known to be fairly religious. Of the three, great houses that we can join in Vardenfell, Redoran is the most religious. They're devout followers of the temple, which could prove to be a problem for Madril. On the other hand, Hlalu are... they don't have the best reputation. And I've been trying to think of which one I want to join. And I think... I was thinking we're going to join Redoran, but I think Madril couldn't put aside both his religious differences and Redoran's not terribly enthusiasticness about the Empire enough to want to join the Redoran. I mean, he might fight like a Redoran and have the honor and nobility of one, but he doesn't he doesn't really believe in a lot of their core tenets, while the Hlalu are much more mercenary in their beliefs. So I think, I, ooh, it's an orc. I think I Madril is going to join House Hlalu. On top of that, the current king of Marwent, whose name completely escapes me and thus completely escapes Madril, is for the right price. part of House Hlalu, meaning basically Hlalu is the in po in power house. So if he wants to make a difference like a real good difference and he kind of feels a connection to them I feel that Hlalu is the house he's going to join he can get in he can oh, move himself up the ranks some and basically make a difference it's, it's kind of what I'm boiling down to I keep saying it but it's what he's wanting to do as well in gradating ingratiating inserting himself into a great house 
would kind of solidify his cover story, basically. No one would be like, oh, that guy is a spy for the Empire. Well, to be fair, they might think that if I'm joining Klaus Lalu, because Klaus Lalu is the most, like, yay Empire house. So they might make that assumption. But that's their problem, not ours. We can always claim to be a loyal Dunmer who is displaying our uh, righteous loyalty to the king. So, I know this is where the manor house is. Mantle, however, does not know who to talk to, so he's going to walk up to the first person he meets. Hey, um, I'm interested in joining, um, uh, House Lalu. Is there not an option? Are you really here and I just can't talk to you about actually joining your house? It's not a thing you want to mention to me? No? No? Okay, that's fine. How about you, ma'am? Speak, traveler. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in joining House Law Lou. Uh, how would I go about doing that? If you want to talk business, you've come to the right place. Do you want to join House Law Lou? I, I do. I really do. Yes, you're a worthy candidate, and we accept anyone who wants to join, even Outlanders. Are you interested in joining? I am indeed, actually, yeah. Farewell. You are now a member of House Lalu. When you are ready, we have business and advancement. We can discuss business and advancement in House Lalu. Uh, can, can you tell me a little bit about House Lalu? That was kind of sudden. Oh, you just, yes, we both belong to House Lalu. Are you here to discuss business? Um, can you at least tell me who the counselors are? Here's a recent edition of the Yellow Book of Great House Lalu. It lists the current Lalu counselors and their residencies. I might tell you more for a small consideration. Oh, okay. The one you should speak with is Crassius Curio. His manners in the Lalu Plazu in Vivek. Of the Lalu counselors, he is the one most likely to listen to your requests, whatever they might be. Can you tell me a bit about Crassius Curio? He can be very eccentric at times, but his... Weaknesses allow him to be manipulated. He lives in the Hualu Plaza in Vivek. Uh, okay. I'm gonna sit down over here. We're gonna look at this big yellow book. And I'm not going to read all of this. Oh, it's only two pages. Maybe I can. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna mention the names for them and then the stuff over here. So, Mist Mistress Velanda Omani. Master Dram Barrow, Master Crassius Curio, Master Yingling Half Troll, Mistress Nevena Ulez, and then King Hlalu Athen Letherin, High Counselor and Lord of Marwyn, grants relief to merchants complaining of high tariffs on imported alcoholic beverages. The council is pleased to report a reduction in the incidence of theft and violent crime in the Hlalu House Districts, thanks to the vigilance of the legions and stern sentences by the magistrates. The council laments the unfortunate disturbances of the public peace, resulting from the increasingly aggressive competition between the Thieves Guild and the Kamana Tong for control of the black markets. A minor tax revolt in Balmora was suppressed without undue harm to life and property. The council sent deputations to the Duke to express their concern over the high tax rates and the injurious effects of high tariffs on trade. Okay. So with this book, we know who the counselors are, so... I suppose the best way to get started is to say what do you need me to do. Just a minute, Madrofendu. Say that again. How fortunate. Your voice sounds almost like the writer in Felsen Sethendis, who died, um, just recently. Would you be willing to disguise yourself as Felsen Sethendis and get orders from House Rhetoran, then deliver the orders to me? I mean, I suppose. Good. Take this helm and speak with Naminda at the Rhetoran Council. Take a silt slider to Aldru, then look under Scar. When she asks what you want, say you are an orphan of Arnesia. Naminda should give you a coded message to deliver. Bring that coded message to me instead. Who's Felsen Sathandis? Felsen Sathandis was disfigured in battle and known for always wearing his helm in public. That's the only reason I'd ask you to try and fool Naminda. When you talk with her, make sure you wear the helm I gave you. And what is Orphan of Arnesia? Yes, that is the code phrase you should use when you speak with Naminda. Make sure you wear the helm I gave you. Okay. What, what helm did you give me? Kind of a crappy helm, but okay. Let's head to Alderun. 
We are not, however, going to take a Silt Strider because that would take time and I don't want to be out in the rain any longer than I already am going to be. So instead, we're going to teleport there. Trader in there. Two Pacquars. Two Pacquars. Ridiculous. Absolutely barbaric. Well, we are. I'm listening. Uh, Chulin, don't Go be rude. Um. Yes. So we just need to head under Outscar, which means. Uh. Room. Excuse me, Julin. Could you just not walk out and get in front of me? Which means under that giant mud crab shell, basically. That is wonder what is that is what Training under out uh, under scar means. You shouldn't be here. Okay, thanks. Oh, hi there. Mr. Orc? Mrs. Orc? That's Mrs. Orc. And under here. This is not the first job that Julin assumed he would be. Julin? Why do I keep doing that? Madril would assumed he would be doing for House Lalu. To be honest, he wasn't quite sure what kind of job he would be doing. But it wasn't this. This seems a little surreptitious and... Ooh, okay, we'll go this way. Kind of against his nature, but... Well. It's a job, I guess. Come on. Naminda, that is now, a Dunmer, I'm busy. red guard name, so hello. Hi. I'm an orphan of Arnesia. Oh, certainly, Felsen. Here are your orders. They are in code, of course. Deliver them to Margain, as usual. Thank you, Naminda. I can't believe that worked. Okay, we're going to try and... Okay, well, we're just going to try and read these right now. Pretty sure I can't get anything from them. Yeah. I know this actually says something, but I don't know what it actually says. I've never cared enough to look up the translation. Or decoding, I guess, actually would be a better word. Translation. Uh, excuse me. Adril. I keep missing up their names. Why? I am Madril. Madril Let's hear it. That is Julin. Julin? It's a shame you didn't join House Redoran, but... Then again, perhaps it's for the best. They're honorable traditional shams. I'm not sure they're quite ready for someone like you. That was actually kind of my reasoning for why I didn't join. Yeah, I'm honorable and traditional, but I'm not a devout follower of the temple. And I am much more enthusiastic of my uh, approval of the Empire, even if they have some sketchy ways, than Redoran is probably comfortable with. Okay, we will head back. Lots of talking. Lots of talking these last few episodes. Not a lot of dungeon crawling. I suppose we had that uh, tomb we went into. Excuse Training me? for the right prize. Uh, no, thank you. Training might be something we'll look into later, just so I can be able to train mad. Julin and things. I keep doing it. You hear it? Do you hear me? Balmora. I thank you. Can you ask a question quickly? I must be gone. Thanks. So, mm, I know. I'm gonna guess Madril probably also knows, cause like yes, he's been I around think. Balmora. Like well, I have role played him and Julin like spending some days relaxing around like Aldrune and Balmora and stuff, so it's probably come up that Balmora is the seat of power for House Falu. So this is kind of like Falu capital. So we live in Aldrune and we're going to keep living in Aldrune. But I'll my time is precious, so make this quick. Probably look into getting a house in Balmora, at least as somewhere to sleep, because we can't 
if we're really going to be like dedicating ourselves to Asphalt, we can't keep fight sleeping in the Fighter's Guild. That would just be sad. Do you have a copy of Naminda's orders? Remember the code phrase is Orphan of Arnesia. Did you get the orders from Naminda? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Good work, Madril Vindu. Keep the helm, and take these 500 drinks for a job well done. That is very generous, thank you. Is there anything else you need me to do? It's still pretty early in the day. I need someone to visit an apothecary in Vivek and acquire certain alchemical formulas. Go to Vivek to the shop of Arun Freerness. Find some of her notes or formulas and bring them back to me. While you're there, you might want to pay a visit to Adrino Arethi. Adrino Arethi is a royal mem loyal member of House Fadlu who lives in Vivek. She may have some business opportunities for you. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll head to Vivek now then. Thank you. Did you say the... Market can. Okay, that's in the foreign quarter. You got any words for this, Julian? No? Okay, let's go. What time is it? 11. It's not even noon yet. We'll probably do this and then get back to Balmora, sleep, and then come back to... I've already forgotten her name. That's so bad. Melino. Melino Dorvain. There's like warriors wandering around. Outland, what do you want? Nothing. I want nothing. But thank you. Okay. I need to head to Vivek. Find our rain frerness. Frerness? Frerness. Probably saying that wrong. Now, you may have noticed that. Hail. Basically, and this is common for a lot of the, like, groups of Marwyn, that the, th the three houses basically fall along class lines. I don't mean, like, societal class. I mean, like, RPG class. Telvani are mages, veteran are warriors, and Hlalu are thieves. Uh, of course, there's the mages guild, thieves guild, and fighters guild. Uh, I'm trying to think. There are the the vampire clans. I know they also bend along those lines. One is the mage clan, one's the warrior clan, one's the thief clan. I don't remember the names of them, though. I think that's the only groups that are like that. Yeah. Okay. Our rain rareness. Speak, traveler. Our brain furnace. Okay. Well, we go try this. Hi there. So what's this regarding? Too many words, Julian. <laughs> Vivek may be a god, but he has horrible taste in architecture. I so agree. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Madril Vindu. You probably have no idea. Uh, who I am, but I come here on behalf of House Flalu, and I was curious if you would be willing to perhaps um, part with oh, excuse me, part with some of the uh, your alchemical formulas. I'm willing to pay if it comes to that. Very much so. Um, what say you? Those are secret. I will not reveal them to you. Are you sure? Uh, are you super sure? Super duper, up, oh, up, oh, went down. Up, up. Well, this could have gone better. Okay. Start bribing her gold. Excuse me. Cannot turn down my tin gold. Up, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? <laughs> I don't have all the money in the world. Please just talk to me.
I like you, Madro Vindu, but I would never reveal my secrets. Okay, I'm gonna try and get her to a hundred. Oh, that's nice. Are you getting hurting me? Thank you. Even at a hundred, how much money did I give you? Mm, I'm still over five thousand, I'm fine. What was I thinking? <laughs> Way too many questions. Maybe, but I need the formulas. The game. Mm. You don't have anything to say, do you? <coughs> Please. Um. Mm, does she have any potions I can use? Luck, retain count of matches, resistance. Basically looking for invisibility. Nope. Okay. Do these your formulas? Potion to cure common diseases is another fruit request. Cure Fardenfell. I just need it, please. You really like me. I'm not asking much. I literally just looked at it and you didn't care. Ugh, fine. This is not going to go well. Hi. Uh, 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 all right. Yeah, look this way. Whoa, okay, glitching. Hey, uh, all right. Could you, could you look this way for me? Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Let's go, Julian. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Nope. I'm not making you go shopping. Did you not notice I just robbed that woman? Oh my god, I just robbed that woman. Oh my god. Uh, uh maybe I joined the wrong house. This was not what I was expecting when I heard of the ideals set forth by House Lalu. So far, I've lied to a woman, and now I've robbed a shop. What have I gotten myself into? It's okay. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. <clears throat> Calm, Metro. Calm. You didn't get caught, and to be fair, you did give her close to a thousand gold, so... Let's not make this official. Are it's not like I've ruined her. It's just... I'm listening. One formula for... Wh what was it? Cure disease potions? I think? Yeah. And blight disease. This is not like... Those would sell for a lot of money. Or anything? No! Okay. Mm. Hail. It's gonna be fine. Yes. It's gonna be fine. Just get back to Valmora. All right, I'm listening. It's gonna be fine. Okay. I'm calm. I'm calm. I don't know. I mean, I didn't expect this going into it, but 
I mean, my goal is to acquire power to help people and make things better. This is not what I want to be doing with it, but if I can worm my way up House Lalu, I could make things better there, couldn't I? At the very least, put a stop to the robbing. The lying. Lords. By the Divines. Okay. Nalina. Nalino, sorry. Hi. How are you? Yes. I have her formulas. Yes, excellent. You can keep the formulas. Now I'll make a copy and deliver it to the loyal Halu alchemist Sin Vivek. Oh. Okay. I'm sure it will help us. It doesn't make me feel better. You mentioned Edrino Arethi. Still don't tell me where she is. She lives in Vivek. Okay. Fantastic. Right. No idea then. Never mind. Uh, you got any other work? What? Arrival of House Lalu gets his wealth from an egg mine. I need someone to destroy this rival's wealth by killing the queen in the Ananias egg mine. Where is that? Arrival of mine in House Lalu gets... Ooh, there's a slip there. Gets his wealth from the Ananias egg mine. He's, it is just across the mountains east of Saran. Go there and kill the Kwama King and ruin my rival's business. There won't be any miners to deal with this time of year, and I doubt the mine will recover. Um. Uh, who is your rival? You're not going to say. Okay. Welcome, friend. Huh. Okay. So we've lied to a woman. We've robbed a poor alchemist, getting my name all kinds of jacked up. And now we're being sent to sabotage. I think she said it was a rival. She, her first words were a rival of House Lalu. And then she said my rival in House Hal Lalu. So I think this person, whoever they are, is actually probably a House Lalu member. So we're going to go to Saran. And it is 7 p.m. And we're going to get a bet. Somewhere. Um, do you have anything to say about Ananias egg mine? I just need a somewhere. What is this? Outfitter? Huh. Do you offer beds? Nope. Okay, bye. Is there something I can do for No you? words, Julian. Just no words, please. What is this? Smith? Pawnbroker. And closer. It's gotta be somewhere to stay here. Saran slave market. Nope. Nope. Not interested. this clothier I'll be honest even as a player I do not know Saran very well like at all I think that's the apothecary symbol yeah so is there really nowhere I can like stay the night Saran trade house I think a trade house is somewhere you can sleep Maybe. I'm sure I don't know how to find it. Oh, do you know I'm wanted by the guards, huh? Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that then. There are beds. 
How do I rent a bed from you? I just want to rent a bed. Please. Don't. Let me rent a bed. I just want to sleep. Sir Avon Orin's egg mine? Just go south around these hills to the east, then follow the hills back north from the river and you can't miss it. Avon Orin's. Interesting. Um, I, I really want to buy a bed from- You sell drugs! No! Why were you- I okay, see then why you would care that, uh, knew the cops. I'm- You know what? We're gonna camp. We're gonna camp. We're not gonna stay here. This is a drug den. It is this city. Ah! Mr. Avon Orens. Let's see if we can find this guy. Maybe we can warn him that somebody wants to destroy his egg mine? Uh, you're a guard. I'm not talking to you. Not in the mood to get arrested. Serio, Evan Yorin. Uh, so, sir, <laughs> your egg mine is in trouble. Yes, that is one of my egg mines. What do you ask? I've been asked to kill the Kwame Queen. So Nalina wants to wrap my business. Suppose I paid you a thousand drinks to leave the egg mine alone. Sure. Good, good. Here are the drinks. Stay out of the egg mine and tell Melina she lost this time. Although I feel a bit like a pawn of the outcomes. I suppose that's the best. I know there's no point in disrupting this mine. It's just to please Nalina. It's not It's not even making House Lalu stronger. It's, it's, he's part of House Lalu. It's just to make Nalino happy. So, no. No, I'm not comfortable doing this. I'm not going to do it. I didn't do it. So we're going to camp outside the city. Away from the water. A nice, nice dinner of some soup. Some bread. Poured over some rice. We're going to see if Julian has anything interesting to say. He does not. Okay, so we're just going to camp here then. Uh, that's 12 hours. It's 8, 7, 6, 5 in the morning. That's when we're getting up. Um, good morning, Julian. Uh, let's get some of your training in. Some alchemy. And we'll have a breakfast of crab meat with a bit more salt rice. I don't want to go to the trade house. I just, I don't. I suppose after I got the money, I could have just taken the silt strider back to Balmora, but Madra was just in such a huff that he didn't want to. He just doesn't want to. Now, I'll be honest with you. As a player, I've never actually taken this path before. Usually, what I'll do is come to Sir Avon Oren, be like, hey, so, Nalino wants to take out your mine. He'd be like, okay, well, I'll pay you a thousand gold to not do that. And I'm like, okay, sure, and I'll take his money, and then go shut down his egg mine anyways, because then Nalino gives you a thousand gold for both taking a thousand of his gold and still shutting down the mine. Because it completely ruins him. He gave you a ton of money, and you take away his... Yeah. So that's what I usually do when I play House Hallu. Because I'm usually a terrible person when I play House Hallu. So. I don't actually know what happens if I just... Why walk when you can run? I don't know what happens if I just take his money and then leave. I hope it doesn't shut down Nalino's um, business quests. Because she has a ton, and I, I need them. I need them. 
I might get forced to do it just because I need her approval to get advancement. But for now, we're going to stick to our guns and be like, no. Like, no, I'm not your hired hitman. So you've spoken with Avon Oren. I won't turn this into a bidding war, but I'm not sure if I can trust you after this. Okay, it doesn't. She just gives up. Okay, good. <sighs> um, before I take any more business on, um, I need to go cool my jets. So I probably... Something tells me I might regret it. Thanks. Uh, where is my bounty? It's not that big. The way everybody was talking, I was expecting it to be, like, super high, but that's, like, it's like the fine for assaulting somebody. So I'm going to go dump all of my crap in a chest in the Fighter's Guild, except for my clothes, because this game has weird mechanics with stolen items, and anything that has ever been stolen or ever has possibly not been mine at any time will be stripped from me, and I just don't want to go through the headache of figuring out what could possibly have been stolen by me. Because, uh, I mean, I don't think anything I'm actually wearing has been stolen. But there's, like, some gray area with, like, armor and stuff you take off of people. So, I'm just going to dump all of my stuff into... Okay, where is... Do see some hinging? Huh. Okay. And everything except my clothes. And then we are going to turn ourselves in to the law. We're going to turn ourselves over, have our bounty cleared, and be like, Hey, this was me. I turn myself in. Please be lenient on me. Pretty please. Let's just get that a little closer. I can't just accidentally toss it on the ground. Okay, well, I won't make you watch me do this, so I will bring you back in in just a second. Okay, so I've left behind... Uh, Julin, and I've stripped off. Oh, Outlander, did you want something? Everything but my clothes and my money, and now we're gonna turn ourselves into a guard. Excuse me. Haven't I heard of you? You violated the law, Madrovendru. Since you turned yourself in voluntarily, I'll take that into consideration. Pay ninety-five gold to the court and surrender your stolen goods, or surrender your stolen goods and serve your sentence of hard labor. Deliver the gold immediately, or come with me. I would like to pay the gold, please. I accept this gold in payment for the fines and compensation ordered by the court, and now you are free to go. Okay. Uh, that's it? Arwen has some strange laws. I suppose Oblivion uh, has the same mechanics, so I guess Madril would not be odd, since they would have done this in Cyrodiil as well. Why on earth did the camera do that? Oh, <laughs> Watch me run sideways. It's fine. Okay. So we're back. How are you? Yes, come on. I had to fit everything between both of these. So, let's put our clothes back on. Okay. With that done, we're going to go talk to, um, do I not have a chess piece? Why don't I have a chest piece? Did I accidentally give my chest piece to Julian at some point? No, he has one. Just one. Huh. Huh. I should fix 
that. I'm not actually wearing body armor. Yeah, it's not left behind. Huh. Okay. Let's go fix that, Julian. So I was unaware. Okay, and then we'll go speak with Nolino right, and get that Guar quest. But I think we're going to end the episode here because I've done two, three quests for her. Yeah. Yeah, lying, stealing, and uh, not <laughs> ruining the, the economy of one of her uh, rivals. So, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, hi. Yeah, uh, I'm looking for some, uh, some, some armor to put over my body. Something, something, I don't know, something to move in, something lightweight. Do you got anything like that? We're gonna go with kite. We're gonna go with one kite. I oh, thank you. Uh... I'll take it. Sounds great. It's better than nothing. Okay. Now let's get this next quest from Nolino, and then we will end the episode. It'll be as easy as that. And then next time we'll be we'll be doing more things for Nolino until we earn our first advancement. So she said something about Guars, Dredrin, trading, and Vivek. I don't know. Madra was not really paying attention because he's like. I gotta go clear my name. I gotta go do the right thing and pay for my crimes. Literally, as it turns out. House Redren sells more Guar hides than House Holu. Someone needs to convince the alchemists in Vivek to buy only imported House Holu Guar hides. Guar hides? We'll start with the alchemist Rolasa Oren. Go to Vivek and convince her to buy imported House Holu Guar hides instead of local house redren guar hides. Uh, where's Rolasa Oren? She lives in Vivek, like I said, and somewhere in the foreign quarter. Okay. I mean, that doesn't sound terrible. Like, hey, do business with us instead of them. It's not dirty. Doesn't seem particularly shady, because I'm not going to be threatening her or forcing her. I'm just going to convince her to go Hualu instead of Redoran, so... I think of the missions that... Nalino has set us on. I'm listening. This one is the most reasonable. Speak, traveler. Right, so, I'm going to end the episode here. What is this about? Excuse me. Next time... Uh, I will bring us in, if I'm not there by the time I've signed off, uh, bring us in from the Fighters Guild in Fafek, and from there we'll head to find this Rolasa and do the thing that Nalino wants us to do. So like, leave a comment, subscribe, the whole Speak thing you hear at the end of every YouTube video. I'm listening. Madril is feeling a bit uncomfortable with his choice of great houses. Maybe he chose poorly. Maybe putting up with... Tipple zealotry would have been better than the underhandedness of Halalu, but he's made his bed, so he has to lie in it. Okay. So I'm I'll see it. you guys next time. Let's not make this official out, Master. Move along. I'm not wanted for any crimes. Thank you. Okay. See you guys next time. Okay, bye. What's